Hi guys, it's Jen and today I'm going to take you through part three of my garden series that I promised you back forever ago and haven't kind of followed through on. So sorry about that. Everything's kind of been in chaos lately. So what I'm going to go through today are books and tools that I use and it's one website and several books. And then I'm also gonna do a giveaway at the end. So let's get started. The first book I'm gonna cover is The Pruner's Handbook. This is an older book. Um, I'll link to all of the books in the description below though for you. But what I really love this book for is this back section way back here. Espelying trees. And if you have a small garden space, this, works so well and they really talk you through what to do year one, what to do year two, and I really, really love this book. So if you're needing to do fruit trees and wanting to make them also pretty but save space, this is your book. Ta-da! Book number two, Backyard Homestead. Now this is pretty standard. It's got a ton of information, but it's broad based information. So if you're just getting into it and you don't want to um, get a book that's on one specific thing like canning or livestock raising or things like that, this is your book. It works really well and it just gives you, like I say, a broad overview on, on everything. I mean, they've got goats and how to butcher a chicken, which there, there are better books out there, but this gives you, like I say, just a general start on things. Vegetable Gardener's Bible, which I have affectionately named the VGB. And this guy covers everything. I have read it cover to cover many times. It goes out with me in the garden when I'm actually planting seeds. And there's so much information in this thing. And it's lovely. It, he talks about intermingling plants and how to accurately space them and the importance of of cover crops. Ugh, awesome. Okay, so awesome book, Vegetable Gardener's Bible. This one is How to Grow More Vegetables and Fruit, Nuts, Berries, and Great. Okay, it has the longest title in the whole wide world. So I just shorten it to How to Grow More Vegetables. And this is where I learned the, where I call it the triangle method that I talked about in my last video. It has a lot of information. It's very dog-eared for me. And this is the, the chart in here that you're seeing is how to space and what kind of yield you'll get from that space. So brief recap, pruners, backyard homestead, Vegetable Gardener's Bible, and How to Grow More Vegetables. Those are my books that I reference all the time. I mean, there are bazillion gardening books, and they're all fabulous, but these are the ones that I reference frequently. They are water damaged and dog-eared and they come out with me to the garden and I put them through just crap tons of abuse. And I love these books. They're excellent references. Let's jump on over to the computer so I can show you SunCalc. This one is called SunCalc. So the website is suncalc.net. And I'm gonna put in Olympia. And I'm gonna zoom in. And we'll go to the YMCA. So we live at the YMCA. So the sun is gonna go in, like on the front side of the building, on the street side of the building. So you know that in high summer, 
the back side of the building is going to be in much more shade. So you'll need to utilize that so you can put in your location. You can even use latitude, longitude, doesn't matter, however you want to do it. Put in your own location so you can see which way your house faces. So you're, this doesn't mean your house is actually going to face this direction, but it's going to show you the way the sun tracks over your house. For me, this would have been really helpful when I first moved into this house because I planted a garden like with tomatoes and peppers and all things that need hot, high sun. And I planted them in the shade. And of course, they didn't grow. They wouldn't do anything. So this is a great tool to figure out how the sun tracks at your specific location. And if you're looking for, if you find that, oh, it just, I'm in the shade all the time. I'll also link to a blog post I did about what plants can grow in the shade. So that's sun calc for you. And I wanted to show you the book that I'm going to do a giveaway for, and that is Farm City. I love this book. It is so inspiring. This gal, Novella Carpenter, she also has a blog. She transformed her whole um, urban lot into a working vegetable and meat farm. She raised rabbits and ducks and turkeys and a pig. And I love it. It's so inspiring to see what you can do with the ground that you have, or even ground that you commandeer, as in her case. So I'm gonna give this baby away. Uh, I've read it a couple of times. It's a lovely book. Uh, leave a comment and tell me why you want it, and I will randomly pick, and I will get in contact with you, and I'll let you know who won in my next video. So thanks for watching you guys and I'll catch you later. Bye.